actually goes to bed very early. So she's three hours ahead. But since she goes to bed early, she's really six hours ahead. So I can't talk to her since it's past five. <laughs> Up close and personal. I really want a snow cone. I've been trying to not board eat because I've been board eating lately and I feel it. My jeans feel it. <laughs> so. You're trying to clap. What's that mean? Does that mean something dirty? Don't say that stuff to me. I could go to bed now, but I'm waiting for you to wake up in Finland because I didn't get to talk to him last night or this morning before he went to bed. So I have to wait up until he wakes up so I can just wish him a good day and then go to bed. Oh my gosh, Jollibee. I would have to order that and that would take a whole other hour or so. And there's no guarantee that I'll be up in an hour. The time difference between here and Finland is like 10 hours, I think. Komustaka. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Ian Eastwood? I was talking to Ian Eastwood since I was 17 years old. <laughs> or 18. That's funny. I saw him in an airport recently and it was really weird. <laughs> it's like the most awkward hello you could ever say. <laughs> what happened with my face? Uh, I took my makeup off. <laughs> This is, uh, I'm not wearing any makeup, so sorry if you don't like it. <laughs> Pretty much looks the same, I, I would like to say, because I stopped wearing a ton of makeup, <laughs> really. So, thanks. I just have darker under eyes. Or that's just mascara that I haven't washed off all the way. <laughs> Rex, come here. Come here. Come here, boy. Yeah, come on, mommy. Come here. Up. Up. Hi, my boy. Can you love me, Rex? <laughs> Just fell. Um, Rex, come here. Up. Come with mommy. Love me, please. Look at this face that he's just giving. Rex. Rex. Hey. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're so cute. My dog's name is T-Rex. If this, How do you like becoming a mommy figure? Like, for my dog? <laughs> Great. Can't wait to have kids. Oh, that's what that means. No. What's that mean? Dude, I'd go for a bucket of spicy chicken joy right now. T-Rex like the dinosaur. <laughs> How many kids do I want? At least two, but I'd like three. I was born in South Houston, and then I kind of moved all over, um, but the main parts were uh, West University, and um, last place is Bel Air. My parents, uh, my family still lives in Bel Air. What's, how's different dating a European than other boyfriends? I like dating um, a European. Um, I just think that they grew up with a lot of, like, the same manners that like I did coming from the South and like, um, they're just not concerned with the same things as American boys are and no hate to American boys. Like I've definitely like, you know, met a lot of great ones, 
But and it's really cool to learn like about their culture and it's just they're told I really feel like they're so different, like really, really different. And I love that he has an accent because it's just constant entertainment because he says everything really funny and most of the time wrong. <laughs> so I have a great time. Sometimes I'll just make him repeat sentences. Like the other he's like, Baby, get a hoodie. I was like, Get a what? Get a hoodie. A hoodie. <laughs> um, but I love I love um I love being with a European. And he's also very like he's crazy. Like you guys see you guys like crazy and like a danger boy. Yeah, he is that, but he's very classy. Like he's really like particular about what he eats and what he like like what he's like just everything in life he's very particular very um sure of himself which i love <laughs>